Hello guys again, it's Thomas from the Elstreet team here at NRC Academy. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the gradient tool, which is actually one of my favourite tools to use because I love the way the colours blend and how you can actually use it effectively for backgrounds, which I'm going to be showing you how to actually use it for. So I'm hoping you're looking forward to how to learn that and let's jump right into the video. Hello everyone, welcome to the second screen recording here. This will be for the gradient tool, which I'm going to be showing you how to use it for backgrounds and generally on shapes, so let's get right into it. shape now with the gradient tool. Uh, you can see a slider here. Uh, here is your presets you can choose between. They're not that great though so I wouldn't recommend them. Here is your types of gradients. You have linear and then you have radial. As you can see it's more outwards from the pedal outwards rather than side to side. Here you have the different angles you can have, which will basically dictate where the, where the creative watch should come from, where it be the top, the bottom, side to side, wherever you really want to be diagonals. And that's why you really need to know about the actual parts of the creative. As you can see here, the red blends perfectly. If you do this with a white, it will be lighter, but generally I prefer blending with darker colours. I think it looks a lot nicer than lighter colours. As you can see here, it actually blends and makes a maroon colour in the middle, which I just find looks nicer than, say, brighter colours. And here is how I use the gradient tool for the backgrounds of one of my other artworks for a beer logo I created last year. I use it to generally create a transition between the sky and space itself by just having a purple here and a blue and just blending them together with the gradient tool, which I thought looked really nice for a background. That's the end of this portion of the video. Uh, thank you for watching this part and I will see you in the open. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you learned how to use the gradient tool in a nice effective way. And I hope you now use them in your own backgrounds and for your own actual artworks themselves. Uh, make sure to check out my colleagues work at the Photoshop team as well as, well as our Illustrator team. Um, please stay tuned for the next video.